So now the, the, the real question that if, if you leave here with anything, I hope you understand what the nature of science is. And so when you look at these three phrases, nature of the beast, that is just human nature. What is the nature of your question? What does the word nature mean in those three sentences? Essence, driving force, its essential properties, maybe. Um, the way that I, and this, these are my words, I mean, I could, I could have given you a definition out of some research literature or something like that, but this, this makes sense to me. Nature science refers to the assumptions of science, how science works, and what scientists are like. So we're not looking at the actual, we're looking at how scientists do their work and why they do it that way. This is where I run into a lot of trouble. A lot of people think that if I do inquiry, I am teaching the nature of science. That's not true. If you teach inquiry, you are more accurately modeling the nature of science, but you are not teaching the nature of science. Inquiry is a teaching and learning strategy. It's a way we learn. It's a way that we can teach students. But nature of science is something that we actually teach to students. It's kind of like density is a concept we teach to students, and we can teach it through inquiry. The nature of science is something we teach to students, and we can teach it through inquiry. This sentence is a little bit difficult to see how it's different. Nature of science concerns how science works, while inquiry concerns working like scientists. When we have students do inquiry, we want them to act like scientists. When we have them trying to understand the nature of science, they're actually thinking about, why did we do our inquiry that way? Oops. <laughs> And I actually like this, this example, this kind of analogy. A lot of us have heard about metacognition, thinking about thinking, which is kind of weird to wrap your head around. And kids really struggle with that. I'm supposed to think about what I'm thinking about? How am I supposed to do that? Uh, but that's what nature science is. They are inquiring about the scientific inquiry process. They're asking questions that are related to how science works. Instead of asking questions about the natural world, about why things float or why things sink, I just got done with a density unit, if you can't tell. Uh, <laughs> They're asking questions about how scientists investigate those questions. So it's almost like a second level of, in, of an inquiry. They're asking about the inquiry that they're doing about the natural world. And so some of the questions that might come up in, in nature of science inquiry, what kind of evidence do scientists use? How is this evidence different from historical evidence? Under what circumstances do scientists not use evidence? And this is kind of a way to kind of help us see the difference between these two. Teaching learning strategy versus content to be learned. Students think like scientists, students think about scientists in nature of science. Scientific inquiry is understanding the natural world, nature of science is understanding the process of science. Students are practicing science, students are practicing philosophy. They're actually, they're, they're more philosophers over there than they are over here. Scientific inquiry seeks to understand characteristics of nature, nature of science seeks to understand characteristics of science, ask questions about nature, ask questions about scientists, but Importantly, inquiry, I'm not anti-inquiry. Inquiry is a tool that we can use to help students understand the nature of science more deeply. 